According to Matthew Then one of the twelve, who was called Judas Iscariot, went to the chief priest and said, What are you willing to give me that I should deliver him to you? They weighed out for him thirty pieces of silver. From that time he sought opportunity to betray him. Now on the first day of unleavened bread, the disciples came to Jesus, saying to him, Where do you want us to prepare for you to eat the Passover? He said, Go into the city to a certain person and tell him, The teacher says, My time is at hand. I will keep the Passover at your house with my disciples. The disciples did as Jesus commanded them, and they prepared the Passover. Now when evening had come, he was reclining at the table with the twelve disciples. As they were eating, he said, most assuredly I tell you that one of you will betray me. They were exceedingly sorrowful, and each began to ask him, It isn't me, is it, Lord? He answered, He who dipped his hand with me in the dish, the same will betray me. The Son of Man goes, even as it is written of him, but woe to that man through whom the Son of Man is betrayed. It would be better for that man if he had not been born. Judas, who betrayed him, answered, it isn't me, is it, Rabbi? He said to him, You said it. Without a doubt, all the four Gospels identify Judas Iscariot as the culprit. Jesus formed a small group of his apostles who helped him in doing his mission. Aside from his mother, these were the people who were close to him in the sense that they were always with him. It is a group of friends whom Jesus called from the different walks of life. I suppose like any group, this group enjoyed each other's company, especially with the presence of their master. But one night, while they were eating together, there was an intense emotion when Jesus said that one of them will betray him. They were rich in Jesus' teachings on loving God and loving one's neighbor. Yet, one cannot imagine that in an instant, everything would change. Jesus was leaving them due to the betrayal that's soon to happen. Ironically, this betrayal will be expressed through a gesture of a kiss on the cheek. Maybe we could ask ourselves, how could Jesus call Judas to be his apostle, who later will turn against him? Can you imagine that your friend who has been with you for so long will suddenly turn against you and proclaim to the whole world what was supposed to be only between you and her or him. Yes, this is quite disturbing, but this can make us reflect why all these things happen. There must be the reason why. And if this will happen to us now, 
how would we react to it? On Jesus' part, when Judas betrayed him, he must have been deeply troubled because he could do nothing more than he had already done to change the mind and heart of Judas. Judas already made an agreement with the high priest to sell his own master with 30 pieces of silver, which was equivalent to the price of a slave. It is said that Jesus was not personally offended or angered by Judas' betrayal, but rather his heart turned with a deep sorrow at the loss of Judas, whom he loved with a perfect love. Maybe this is the aspect of Jesus' love that we are called to reflect more during this Holy Week. His unconditional love always directs him to love the other for the good of the other. And no matter how he is betrayed or denied by the other, his love for the person continues. And this is the love of Jesus for all of us. No matter how sinful we are, that will never change the fact that His love will ever be the same and will endure forever. Like all of us, Judas had free will and he used his free will to betray Jesus. What about us? We can use our free will to refuse or to stay faithful to our Lord and to do many things that would increase the weight of His cross. Just imagine of the heavy cross He carried as He climbed at the hill of Calvary. He fell three times because of the weight of the cross which is the weight of our sins. During this Holy Week, let us seriously contemplate on the road where we are on. Each day is an invitation of Jesus to us to follow Him, to follow His way of love and forgiveness. Prayer taken from IBelieve.com Lord God, we tremble to think that it was one of Jesus' own friends who betrayed him, one who sat by him, who broke bread with him. Give us the strength, we pray to walk faithfully with Jesus, even when the road we walk is rocky, even when the message of the cross seems like foolishness, and even when we feel betrayed. You, Lord, are always faithful. We stumble, we become lost, but you are steady and sure. Give us the grace to endure our troubles and reveal to us the glory of your kingdom. Through your Son, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.